Today is 3rd of August. Market opened slightly positive. But the gain was short-lived and it fizzled out and retraced with a wide range reversal bar on lower volume. This happened after yesterday wide range reversal bars on increased volume and this is extremely negative, particularly because of this opening gap. Now over here we see a very sharp rally and uh, we would expect a retracement from here because it coincides with this resistance. The fact we have sharp retracement here, this is probably in reactions to the news that the US credit rating has been downgraded. Uh, so this resulted in very sharp retracement. Uh, the fact that we have a very sharp run up with a sharp retracement, market is likely to actually oscillate sideways and this is likely to take some time. Immediate support is at 3280. Our resistance is actually at this level here. Uh, that is at about 3330-3340. Let's take a look at the US markets. S&P 500, mentioned previously uh, we are expecting retracement because this is quite strong and market never going in a straight line and this coincide with this resistance level. So it's not unexpected to see these retracements, it's just that the news that actually came out uh, is likely to actually impact the markets uh, because the downgrade of the US credit ratings is likely to actually result in the higher capital costs for business and this is generally negative for the equity market. If we take a look at NASDAQ, similarly, uh, we do expect retracements. It's approaching this very obvious resistance. So again, we'd like to observe uh, over the next few weeks to see how it actually responds at this resistance level. If we trade within this resistance level, near this resistance level, that will be generally positive. Uh, but of course, if it actually retrace downwards and test the support here, then our bet is off, at least for the short term. This is the US Treasury use with the announcement of the rating downgrades. We see strong move in the US uh, Treasury yield. Uh, again, this is something we do expect. Uh, it's just that this provides some impetus for further upward move. This is bank code. As a result of that, you can see very sharp retracement. So the concern that uh, higher business costs is going to dampen any economic recovery, particularly in China. And that actually affects the demand for bank crude. Let's take a look at the Singapore markets. Um, this is Yang Zijiang, uh, which is the only bright spot yesterday, but unfortunately today it retraced. The only consolation, the volume is actually slightly lower. Uh, we actually look for a pullback here and look for new setups and like to see the stock take out the recent high of 157. Same coin industry. Just a follow up because this talks is uh, we can't trade this at this point moments after this sharp uh, sharp retracements. If you notice that actually there are a couple of swing, the swing is getting smaller, and it's tracing a symmetrical triangle. Uh, again, we like to see what happens. Be good if the volume actually dry up, that give us a very clear sign. And uh, this appeared to be a reason that was tested on many occasions, but was unable to actually break. So we like to see a decisive break of above this high here of five sixty nine. All right, and I'd like to see break this downward trend line as well. Capital Corp. Uh, this is a nice break followed by this pullback. Uh, last three session volume is slightly lower. At this point in time, we have a small deeper setup. Bar high is 746. Citrum. The bag is off for Citrums. Now over here we have a very nice rally and just below the resistance level we can see this built up but unfortunately after the release of result it actually gapped down. So the chart is damaged. It is actually retracing towards the support levels and it's important that the support hold. We may see a bounce from here but it will take some time before you clear this high here um, which is at 147. Some of the strong stock we'll be discussing also is uh, generally like luster. This is um, dynamic, best performing stock year to date. 
uh, but it's very obvious uh, we have very severe selling here notice wide range reversal for increased volume and a weak bound and flow another wide range reversal and here we have another wide range reversal so you can see there are three wide range reversal so it does indicate that actually there are quite a lot of selling uh, at best, you may trade sideways, but actually, we just leave the stock alone and we subsequently uh, like to see what happens after if we can form a base and then it'll be generally good. Uh, CSC Global, this stock actually has run up quite well, and uh, at this resistance level here itself, deep retracement. Again, uh, it may actually trade sideways from here to digest the recent run up, and uh, we have to just observe. And exercise patient during this period. A better bet is actually C Mac. With nice run up and uh, we have a retracement here today. It trades a wide range bar on increased volume. Uh, this is a small significant resistance here. I'd like to see it take out this high, and that is at A forty five. For the empires. Again, succumbs to very severe selling. We notice actually after this breakouts, it raised up, but you have deep retracement, and in the process, it actually broke the thirteen twenty six SMA. Generally, we do not to we do not like to trade below the moving averages. So again, we just have to leave the stock. It may well support at this congestion area here. Similarly, for H L H N. Uh, we can see this weak rally and, and it actually fell on the downside trading below the 1326 SMB and today bar doesn't inspire actions uh, because it's trading at the lower end of this wide range reversal bar so again this stocks is the bet is off of this stocks I fast fast and fury we see very strong run-ups at this resistance level it actually pause the fact that it's doing this just show that it's actually entering strength uh, it's just that our daylight is quite huge, so we like to actually see trade sideways. Close our daylight, that provides better bot, a bet, and it provides also the good base for eventual break on the upside. I'd like to see clear this high here, 575. 